Good morning. You've heard the old saying that an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Today we're going to talk about preventing tomato blight. Let's get started. Tomato blight is a fungus. If you have had blight in your garden in previous years, you use the same tools and equipment the following year, you're contributing to the spread of blight in your garden. So our ounce of prevention today is going to be disinfecting our tools and equipment that we used last year to help mitigate the problem of blight in our garden. The shovels and the pruners that we used on those tomatoes that had blight last year are going in our solution of bleach and water. We're using one part bleach, nine parts water. I'm not going to be the safety Nazi here folks. I'm working with bleach. Use some common sense and be careful please. The twine that you see there next to the bucket is what we use to grow our tomatoes. We grow everything vertically on. If I were still using tomato cages, I would simply load them all on the back of the truck, go to the car wash, use hot soapy water, and spend a lot of time blasting the snot out of them. Bring them home, set them up in the sun, let them dry before you take them to the garden. Because we're using twine, it's going to be a little bit easier. It's just going to go in our bleach and water solution. It's going to come out into another container of just water. We're going to lay everything out on the tailgate and allow it to dry in the sun. Don't forget, in this process, any little shovels that you use to transplant. If you're using the little tomato clips, you're going to want to clean and disinfect those as well. And anything that you have used to prune with. Something else you can do to help prevent tomato blight is to keep them pruned. Any portion of the leaves that are close to or touching the soil, prune them off. Any place that your plants are overlapping, like these two are, prune those. If this tomato had blight, it could transmit that blight to the plant next to it by the leaves touching. Same thing with the soil. If these leaves touch the soil and there's blight in your soil, that blight is going to transmit onto that leaf and begin to spread through the plant. Keep them pruned off the ground and keep them pruned from touching one another. Sucker. We have a couple of videos on pruning tomatoes. Well, we do use a lighter gardening method. You can still use some of the techniques that we use in your garden. I'll put an iCard here for you to that video, and I will also put it at the end screen of this video. So after this is done, you can watch it next. Those are some simple things that you can do to help prevent blight in your garden. All right, folks, I hope you found that useful. I have quite the tangled mess here that I need to, <laughs> that I need to fix. I'm gonna let this dry and spend an hour winding all these back up, getting them ready to go to the garden. If you are interested in the mint ladder gardening method, please consider joining the Facebook group. I'll put a link in the description for you. I would love to show you how we use this twine to grow lots and lots of amazing tomatoes. We will have plants at the end of the year that are eight to 10 feet tall. Using this twine, we're gonna grow a tomato every nine inches. You can grow so many tomatoes in just a little bit of space using the mint lighter method. I'm going to put that video here for you in the end screen, showing you how we prune our tomatoes in a mint lighter garden. Thank you for watching. Happy gardening.